this has been like the most recommended thing for us to try in John for. <laughs> beautiful city of Jodhpur, also known as the Blue City. Jodhpur is a city that is famous for its food, especially its sweet food. So today we're going on a mission to try and find as many traditional Rajasthani foods as we possibly can. And we're pretty excited because one of the things that we have noticed here in India is that the cuisine pretty much changes as rapidly as the landscape does. for this particular dish right here, which is our Mirachi Vada. I'm so excited and so nervous to try this food. I mean, I have a really high spice tolerance, but like it's a whole chili we're about to eat, so I don't know. So this is a chili that has been stuffed with a mashed potato mix and then been deep fried. And what actually makes this chili particularly special is it's made with a top secret masala mix. So nobody knows except for one guy the grandfather who owns this place, what goes into the secret masala mix. So this is a little bit of a special treat really. It's like a top secret deep fried chili. And now although I have a pretty high spice tolerance, I'm a little bit nervous because I have heard that the food here in Rajasthan is particularly spicy by Indian standards, which means that it is really, really, really hot. Oh my God. Okay, wow. <laughs> There are so many flavors in here, I don't even know where to begin. So when you bite into it, it's crispy, it's crunchy, and then it's filled with this gorgeous mashed potato, which is like the most flavorful mashed potato I've ever had in my life. It's almost got like a, a hint of citrus in there and a little bit of salt. It's really good. It's like a massive flavor explosion in my mouth. Wow. So these are so popular that on average, they sell over 1,000 a day. And unlike other dishes here in India, they don't actually serve this with any chutneys or anything like that because if you look in the middle, you can see that it's actually stuffed with all of the herbs and spices and flavors and they don't actually feel that it needs any extra chutneys or anything like that. Are you ready? Yeah. I know that you don't love spicy food, so are you ready? I don't know, I'm about to eat a whole chili. Literally about to eat a chili. Here we go, let's just try it. It's spicy. It is, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely a whole chili. <laughs> Look at him sweating. You can literally nice. see the sweat like dripping off his face. I'm not sweating. So now that I'm like sort of past that intense chili, it really tastes like the citrus and the lemon that's coming through. It's so good. So this eatery is pretty unassuming. You can recognize it by the red and white stripes. We'll link the details down below so you can come and try it because words don't do it justice. It's actually so nice. I'm gonna have to get up. Jodhpur is often referred to as the blue city and that's because everywhere you look in this amazing city you'll find these cool blue tones. A lot of the houses are painted this way. Now aside from being aesthetically pleasing, back in the day this actually served a far more practical purpose. It's thought that the blue paint made the buildings cooler in the summertime and it's also thought that the blue tones were somewhat of a natural insect repellent. Now I'm not 100% sure how true that is but it is interesting nonetheless. The second place we've come to today is Jodhpur Sweets and we came here to try this particular dish. It's called an onion kanchuri and so it's like a fried pastry with onions and sauces and all kinds of stuff inside. 20? 20. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I spilled it. Sorry. You can't take me anywhere. So just tell me what happened. I just went to pick it up and this was open and I spilled the sauce everywhere and I feel really bad. All right. It smells good. What does it smell like? It smells like, I'm not gonna lie, it smells a bit like wine. 
like it smells, somewhat alcoholic. really nice the the sauce is not wine at all it's no? like a it's kind of like sweet and tomato-y almost but it's not too spicy in fact I wouldn't call it spicy at all and this is this is me but it's just like a just a really nice savory pastry with vegetables inside it deep fried with a sweet sauce well the, the pastry itself isn't sweet but the sauce is a bit sweet Weird. Okay, I was expecting it to be like a sweet thing no cool so Jodhpur is pretty famous for its sweet foods. In fact, all over the country, in different sweet stores you find, you actually find that a lot of them are either called Jodhpur sweets or they'll claim that they actually sell Jodhpur sweets. That's how famous they are. Now, I'm a little bit sad that this isn't sweet because I thought coming to a sweet store that this would be a sweet, but nevertheless, I'm still excited to try it because this has been like the most recommended thing for us to try in Jodhpur. That is so weird. What? Okay, outside deep fried and crispy. Inside is like onion and also like some other mashed vegetables, which is not at all what I was expecting. I think we're gonna have to get something sweet as well, given that we're here in Jodhpur Sweets. No idea what either of these are gonna taste like, what is in them. I just have no idea. I'm so excited. I love trying new foods like this when you literally just have no idea what you're eating. This one is called Rabi Ladu. As you can see, it is like kind of made of these like bowls. And from the looks of it, just by looking at the outside, I can already tell that this looks pretty sweet. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. So when you bite into these tiny little bowls here, it is just an explosion of syrup in your mouth. You're gonna love this. I think this is gonna be Ed's favorite. Mm. <laughs> this is gonna be Ed's favorite. Oh. So the second dish we got is called Rashmaduri, and honestly, I was just filming, and the guy behind the counter was like, if you wanna try something different, take this one. And so he just kind of gave it to us. It's complimentary on the house, so cheers for that Jodhpur sweets. To me, it's kind of like a, a, almost like a bit of a sponge cake that's been soaked in in cream, and it's just like the cream is sweet. It's like a, just a sweet cream. It's really nice. It's kind of like a custardy sort of thing. Everywhere you walk here in Jodhpur, you can just sense the fort looking down on you. It's enormous. It's says 125 meters above the city, and down every alleyway and over every roof, you can just see it looming down on you. It's absolutely incredible. So next up, we have come to this restaurant called Gypsy, where we're here to try a food that might not only be unique to Jodhpur, but might be unique just to this restaurant here. We are about to try one of the hardest to pronounce foods I think I've ever ever had to pronounce. It is Gomom Jabu Sabazi Abzi. Is that right? <laughs> Not even close. It's on the screen. What makes it unique about the way they serve it here is that this food is actually usually served sweet. But here in this restaurant, they serve this particular dish in a savory manner. So we have actually tried this before as a sweet dish, so I'm so excited today to try it savory. Don't know how it's gonna come. We've ordered some garlic naan bread to go with it. No idea what it's gonna taste like, no idea what it's gonna look like, but I'm excited to try it. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can like see the oil. And from what I've read, there are four different types of dairy that has actually gone into this dish. So if you like cheese, we have also gone with some garlic naan bread because that is what was recommended to us as the perfect accompaniment. Look at the size of this naan bread. Hold it up to your face. This is my face. And this is my naan bread. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take some. Dip it in the sauce. I'm so nervous, I don't know what to expect. 
whoa. When we ordered, we were gonna order two. And <laughs> the waiter was like, no, 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 you only need to order one. And I can definitely see why, because this, it's heavy. It's a really rich, heavy curry. Here you go. It's so unique, like it's hard to like put your finger on what that flavor is. I want to say like cheese. Like I can get like elements of cheese coming through. It's really heavy, really thick, really interesting. And with the garlic naan, spot on. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever been this full in my entire life. Wow, wow. Yeah, I felt like all of those foods were just so heavy. Like I know we haven't eaten much but they're just yeah. so heavy. But wow, this has been completely delicious. What a great day. What a great food tour, really. I don't know how we did. Were they like traditional Rajasthani foods? Did we do okay? Like we were going by ourselves. So we were just kind of going by what people had recommended us to eat and also the internet. So yeah, and if there's anything that you think we missed, definitely drop it down below and we'll, we'll try and pick it up along the way. Yeah. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, I'm Sally and this is Ed. So we really do appreciate it. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below. Give yes. this video a like, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any more episodes. Stay tuned. It's going to be exciting. Well, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. See you in the next one.